Hello everyone and welcome back to another C Sharp tutorial. In this video we're going to be going over delegates and I'm going to do my best to explain this as basic and as simple as possible. So let's go ahead and see two examples. The first example is going to be what happens when you don't use a delegate and what happens when you do so we can see um, essentially their use. So let's go ahead and create another class. We can call this any class, my class, all right? And then in here, we're going to create a function public void um, iterate through numbers. Gosh, that's awful. Anyways, um, so iterate through numbers. Um, and then we're going to say var count equals zero and then while count is less than, let's do something crazy like um, a million. All right, so that way we can see it as it counts. Um, and then let's run some logic. If count is um, greater than or equal to 30,000, and count is less than um, 700,000, then console dot right line, that's a big number. And then else we can just do console dot right line whoops just do console dot right line and then we can just see the index so we can see as it counts um, so the count all right now we need to actually make sure that this counts so we can just do up here count plus plus all right so now we have our while loop, um, doing some logic, some interesting things here. So let's go ahead and see it. So let's go ahead and create a, uh, a class object. My class equals new, my class. All right, so again, this is without the delegate. We're seeing what happens um, and how um, essentially we're, we're setting up the stage here. So iterate through numbers and then let's give it a shot all right so there you go so it iterated through our numbers correctly and um, we saw all of that however what happens if let's say we're in a program and um, we need this logic to be ran in a completely separate function outside of this class, outside of all of that. Well, one of the simple ways we can actually do this is a delegate. So what does a delegate do if you think about it? If you hear about um, a delegate from maybe another country, it means that uh, essentially what they do is they go to another country or another area and they pass information or they receive information and then they bring it back to their country of origin um, to use that information. So um, that is essentially what we're going to do. So we're going to create our own delegate, public delegate, and we're going to call this my delegate. Again, sorry for the bad naming convention. I just want to make this uh, the naming as clear, as painfully clear as possible. So we have a delegate, and what this is going to do, what we want this to do is run this logic right here, okay? So what we need to do is um, we need to pass in this count if we're going to get this number. So we can just say int um, passed count. All right, so what is this going to do? Well, 
we have these parameters and then we're going to run this logic. How are we going to do that? Well, we're going to do that through a function. So this is the function. Um, this is essentially where the inf information needs to go and this is where the information originated. So we need a place, a nice little home for this information to go. So we can say static void. We're using static here, of course, because um, just so it's easily accessible. Um, and we'll call this um, my home. Okay. So inside, well, yeah, inside of my home, of course, um, we are actually going to need an integer and we can call this um, final count. Nice. All right, so then we can actually take all of this logic, move it over here, and just replace final count with count. Okay, so now we have this rolling. However, um, we need to get into this um, uh, this this method. So the way we're going to do that is we're actually going to allow our delegate to pass through. So my delegate, and we can call this my delegate, of course. And then after count plus plus, what we're going to do is my delegate, and then of course we're going to pass in this passed count. So um, we're going to need that number, which is count. All right. Then we have this issue. We need to um, give this, this iterate through numbers, a delegate. All right. Essentially a home for this delegate to go to. So um, when we're calling this originally now, we need to get, we need to specify the home for the delegate. So we're going to pass in my home, which is this entire method. So essentially what this delegate does is it grabs this information and it allows this information to come back home. And we specify the specific home for the delegate in here. And then we pass the delegate, or we, uh, we essentially specify a delegate and then we run this logic. But again, the, uh, the home method is what is passed through. So now that we've taken this logic completely out of this function and out of this class, let's see if we get the same result. All right, and there you go. We got the same result. We we're able to now completely run this logic in an entire separate class and get live updates of what's happening inside of this while loop. Um, again, all outside of this class, this method, because we were able to use this delegate. So what we did here was we created this delegate, we specified the information that this delegate is going to need, we allowed this delegate access to where the information is stored, and then um, when, we, uh, when we actually call this function, we have to specify the home that this information is going to go to. All right, well, I hope that makes sense. Um, again, delegates can get fairly complicated, but I wanted to make this hopefully as simple as possible. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions, of course, and until then, I'll see you next time.